we're, wow. we're, <laughs> we can talk. Hi everyone, my name is Paris. Welcome to FA channel. We're in a space where we celebrate our technology and creativity. Every week we upload three to five new videos to share virtual experience, playful experiments and learning process. In today's episode, I'm sharing something very exciting. We've been playing with toothbrush for a long time and we also made video about toothbrush a while, like a couple of weeks ago about how to upload your toothbrush works into the VR chat to save your beautiful works because Poly is going to shut down. But last week, Google just announced amazing news. Toothbrush goes open source, which means everyone can download the whole project of toothbrush and modify and launch your own app. Yay! This is a great news for developers for creators, also for users. The only one agreement I think is you can't use the name to brush. Beside that, you can just basically do everything with this open source. And yesterday, actually last night, I find out this new app called Multibrush. So it's basically a toothbrush with multiple players. I played around last night. So basically you can create your own room or you can join other people's room. You can make password, invite your friends, or join some public rooms that other people open and draw with them together. Paint something, um, create something together on toothbrush. It's really fun. In today's episode, I will we will show you how to get this app on your Oculus Quest and how you set up and enjoy this new app. It's like a little complicated process for casual player. First of all, you need to install and set up SideQuest on your PC or Mac. There's a link in the description. You can check more details. And, uh, and once you're set up, you just connect your headset with to the computer, allow USB debugging mode, and make sure the SideQuest shows your headset is connected. Make sure it's connected. And then you search multi-brush. Click and install to your headset. Wait until finish installing. Now you can launch app from your headset. At this point, you may panic. The, the app not going to show on your app list because it's like an unknown source. So what you have to do is go, go open the drop down menu, then choose the unknown source and launch it. Now basically you are, you are in the multi brush app. When you're in, as you can see, I will show with my perspective and my partner's perspective. Um, it's really interesting. In the beginning, I wasn't really uh, sure what I'm doing, but I saw on the list there, it, the user interface is a bit different than the original toothbrush, but it's almost exactly the same. So what you do is you can see there's like a little uh, menu, little button called multiplayer. If you click on it, you will see there are different rooms show up and you can also create room and or join other people's room. I <laughs> join a couple of other old public room. If there's no password required, you can just join that. Seems pretty easy and fun to play around. Yeah, you should go explore and I I can't wait to join more people's um, public room. I think it will be really fun to create some synergy there. Ah, we're, wow. we're <laughs> We can talk. Yeah. Am I talking? Yes. Oh, wow, cool. this is so cool. Yeah. Okay, let's, let's draw something. Okay, follow me. <laughs> I don't know. What do you want to do? <laughs> At this point, I also want to talk about another big news that I launched by announced by Oculus Quest is that they also launched this new platform for app de developer called App Lab. Um, this is potentially don't require all technical complicated process of SideQuest. So from a user point of view, it will be so much easier to um, install all the apps that people create. But at this point with the multi-brush, this app, the developer haven't 
launched on AppLab because this is such a new app and then the news of AppLab just announced yesterday, two days ago, I guess. So this is all very new every day, something new popping up. From a digital creator's point of view, it will be so much easier for you to launch any app and uh, on Oculus Quest in the future and easier for other people to download. So yeah, two big great news. I can't believe at the end of the year, that was like December, end of December, I was struggling and sad about Poly and now all this new uh, software launching, new uh, announcement kind of opened a new door for a lot of creators and users. So yay, I'm really happy. <laughs> so yeah, that's it for today's video. I Let me know if you have any questions. Hope you enjoy this app and Let's hear more news in the future. We'll keep you up, keep you guys updated. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe our channel for new updates. And it's a great support for all of us to keep us going. Thank you so much, guys. Have a great day and see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye.